Alright, hey guys, welcome to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm the Clean LP Guy, and in the last episode, we got the slingshot for finding how many people? Like, two people um, in uh, this forest, the Faron Woods. Uh, what are you gonna say? Master Jippity, now would be an excellent time to arm you with additional information regarding the use of your items. Okay. You should be aware that you can instantly ready the slingshot. You use a moment by quickly tapping B. If you experience difficulty aiming while you're using the item, try OK forward and press... Wait, point the Wii Remote forward. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Um, I believe I discussed this earlier. If you have the item in the little um, circle up there, you can just tap B and boom, it's out. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can put it away by pressing B again if you forgot what you wanted to do. This will actually have Deku Seeds in it. Um, you got five Deku Seeds. These small seeds serve as ammunition for your slingshot. Make sure you've always got a few handy. All right, so um, cutting up these things will give you Deku Seeds. There's those little yellow fruits that I pointed out earlier that I don't know if you guys saw. Ooh, there's another Amber Relic. I thought there might be one. Um, for some reason, if I'm not mistaken, it actually swaps sides on this thing later in the game. I have no idea why, but it does. Anyways, um... We're going to go on this, and uh, we're going to see what we can do. So, uh, yeah, like I said in the last episode, we actually found... Oops, my bad. Okay, so this is actually going to show you what you need to do. So you need to swing back, swing forward, press A to jump. There you go. Like that. And this one should give us Deku Seeds too. Yeah, like that. But anyways, we're not really concerned about... That was not good. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, we're just going to walk through here, and... Oh, wait, what? Whoa, that is cool. Oh, dude. Wish I had those powers. Okay, so I don't know why he's looking around. It's not like that different of an area. It's pretty much the same area. It's just closer to the temple. Anyways, there's some cool growing roots or something like that over there. It's a new area, so I guess he needs to look around or something. Deep woods. Okay, apparently there's Faron woods and then there's deep woods. That's interesting. All right, we're going to press B on the map. Just get out of there. There we go. All right, what do you got to say, Fee? I have confirmed the plant life of this area matches that of Farrow Woods. That's kind of obvious just by even looking at it. We have reached the area locally uh, referred to as the Deep Woods. Now we should continue toward the temple in search of Zelda. All right. So that is going to be a good thing. Um, sometimes it won't give you Deku Seeds, but I want Deku Seeds, so. Um, it's actually going to be over there. Whoa, there's a dude right there. I do not want him doing stuff to me so here we go i think he may even have he looks like he does have a trumpet that is not good all right you can hit those guys and they can actually be stunned and then i can just slash away at this guy okay and that's gonna work like that all right if you have a certain item he can actually have a um the little horn that he uses can actually come off him i'm gonna hit this and that sounds like suicide i know but there is something that I want from that. Um, oh, whoa. Uh, I got it. <laughs> okay. Um, if you swing your sword around, these guys will eventually go away. There are some plants around here, so I'm not really worried about it. This honey larva or whatever it is, bee larva, is, like, really important. If you swing your sword all like a crazy person, they probably, most likely, they usually go away. But maybe they're not right now. Um, I'm going to run a little bit. Uh, maybe they won't go away entirely. There we go. There, they run away. All right. So, that's important, and I can grab that. I just said important in a really weird way. I'm like, important. I'm <laughs> like, what the heck? Okay, there's birds there. Um, birds are actually slightly important. Um, in a later part, this guy I'm not too concerned about. He doesn't look like he has a heart. Anyways, these fruits sometimes have Deku seeds in them. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to just grab that because I have three missing. Um, one thing I will do. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, these guys won't come after me. I'm going to aim just a little bit above. And don't come after me. Go down. There you go. Uh, okay, that's actually necessary. Um, oh, you suck. Okay, we're going to wait for him to walk back. Walk back. There we go. Alright. I believe... No, he doesn't have a horn. Um, if he has a hat, he'll have a horn. But he won't have a horn. He might come after me. I don't know how big his route is. Okay, his route's big enough he won't come after me. Um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to come up these stairs really quick. Um, there might be some enemies up here. No? No? Wow. Alright, so we're gonna hit this. No Deku Seeds from that. Oh, no! Stop doing that. Alright, that fruit in it might have Deku Seeds as well. I'm not too concerned about it right now. I'm more concerned about pushing that. This is the tree where we had the larva from. Let's center that. And there we go. 
All right, so we're gonna actually come down here, and I think there was, yeah, there was one more right here, so let's see if we can get, nope, a rupee. All right, so we're actually gonna come over here, see if we can get something from that. Nope, doesn't look like it. We're gonna actually, oh, there's a Deku guy in that, and I just need you to run toward me. Nope, not you. You, there we go. There we go. What was that? Is he up there? Where are you? Where's the Deku? Is he over here? He senses me somehow. I don't know how he senses me. All right, this bush moved, so we're gonna watch out for him. There we go, get that. All right, we're gonna slash that. And that did not go as planned, but oh well. Um, there's not a Deku there. However, there is a guy over there who is dying to attack me. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. All right, um, anyways, there's a stone over there. Another one of those cubes. Um, we know Zelda's that way because we have to go to the temple. Um, this is a ledge you can actually go on. I don't know how he's doing this with his shield. But anyways, he's doing this with his shield. Uh, anyways, you can leap across by just swinging the rear remote like they tell you. Um, there should be no Dekus over here. Deku Babas. Uh, this guy really wants to attack us. I don't like the fact that he's over there and wants to come at us. So oh my gosh, no. Uh, let's fall over and jostle. Um. Okay, come on. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, whoa. Come on, keep going. Do it again. Come on, there we go. Whoa, go up. Come on. There we go. Alright, so basically you just have to knock him over, and he's gonna be falling to his death in a never ending pit. That looks like rainbow colors on my screen. I have no idea if you guys can see that. Yeah, you might be able to see it a little bit. But there's like rainbow colors at the bottom. I have no idea why I decided to do that. Oh, holy cow, those little bomb thingies. Um, those things actually can hurt you a tad. Whoa, if they explode. Actually, I don't know that they hurt you, but they're just not nice to be around. And we see we got Deku Seeds finally. Oh my gosh. Um, there's going to be a Deku Bob up here, I believe. No? Wait, yes, there you are. There we go. Just got you right off the bat. And he is gone. All right, we don't need it, but there is a stool over there that you can sit on if you're missing some parts. Which, sometimes going through that, you can. I'm going to save quickly here. Sorry you guys have to see this, but there is a save point, and it's nice to know that it's this close. Even though there is another one that's like only inches away. Um, oh, I totally missed that. <laughs> that's what the never-ending pit looks like, and actually this is kind of fun. If you fall down the never-ending pit, you actually won't lose any hearts. So, yeah. Um, I need to be straight across from this thing, and I am not doing a very good job of that with my camera. Let's go! There we go. And there we go. Alright, all the way over here. Um, there is actually a chest over there that we are going to get. Uh, there should be a Deku guy in here, I would think. Yes, a gold Deku. Uh, whoa! You suck. You suck, sir. Alright. Um, he's going to be a three. Dang it. Dang it! <laughs> ah, you suck. There. Oh, no. What the heck? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Wait for him to attack. And if you go like that, and you can slash his neck. I didn't ever show that before. I'm not going to try and go across there really quickly, because he will attract your attention, and then you'll get into a little tutorial thing for a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to get this, which is going to be a whopping 20 rupees, which is going to be amazing. We can, now we got 117. I don't remember what our wallet size is. My bad. Wrong one. What is our wallet size? What is... We can carry 300 rupees. All right, that's good. Um, if you press B, you can actually get the B button there. Minus, you'll get the minus stuff. And if you press C, you can get your dowsing stuff. So those are the buttons I was talking about earlier. It's always nice to know what your B stuff is. But anyways, we will go back and we will talk with this dude. Hopefully we can get kind of a quick tutorial here. Hey. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. We know this guy. What is his name? Um, I forget his name now. Oh. I tell you, Gorko, your timing could never have been better. Look here, I stumbled onto one of these uh, just thing things just now. And it's just like something I had seen in those ancient texts. All right. Um, this is the cube. Sweet! If you I remember, right? Yep, this is one of the things the goddess said, was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought of the name for these things. I have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Yes, it does. It actually does. Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about how these things... How did I get... How did it go again? Let me see. Uh, summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. Alright, so if you you haven't guessed what you're going to do with that, I'll tell you in just a second. I see you got yourself a sword there, but do you say... Wait, what do you say we try to crack the mystery of this cube together? Sure. Hey, thanks a billion, bud. 
All right, so it'll zoom in on the cube randomly. This cube is made of some sort of metal I have never seen before. I have wailed on it, but nothing happens. Why would you punch it if... Never mind. You know, bud, I would say the key to the cracking the edge is that at one line, you know, the light from a heavenly blade. All right. So if you couldn't guess what that means from by now, it's hold the sword up straight until you can get the goddess or the skyward strike and then strike it with the goddess strike or skyward strike. Why do I keep calling it goddess strike? What the heck? Anyways, strike it like that, and then he will go, Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot out into the sky. I think it reacted to the whirly beam thing that just shot out of your sword. And where did you think that cube shot off to, anyway? This mystery just got a whole lot more, uh, mysterious. The texts say there are cubes like that all over the land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about me, uh, them along the way, you come see me. All right, I'll make sure to do that, Mr. Gorko the Goron. All right, there is another one of those beehives, which I think is absolutely annoying that they have to keep... Wait, really? No? Awesome! All right, so apparently later in the game, there's going to be a beehive there, and that's just randomly annoying. You're like, oh my gosh, get away from me. All right, Master Jippity, I have detected Zelda's aura uh, emanating from within the structure. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. All right, what do we got? What does it say? Okay, nothing. It says nothing. However, I have also detected the presence of numerous monsters. Are you sure you want to proceed? Of course! Really? No. <laughs> it would be very unwise to display unconfidence, overconfidence here. Within the walls of this place, no one will come to your aid. Wow, thank you for that vote of confidence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you feel unprepared to face the danger, consider returning to the sky to promptly equip yourself. Okay. It would be wise to carry a shield to protect yourself as well as stock up potions. Oh my gosh. This is the fourth or th third or whatever reference to shield and potions to restore lots of hearts. Now you should continue the search for Zelda. Oh my gosh, dude. And we're not even in like the bizarre area. Okay. So over here, there's going to be a Deku Baba, but there's also something else kind of important to read. There you are. There we go. Wow, that was easy slice. All right, so we're going to read this sign quickly. He who descends from above, look to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon and aim your shot there. All right, so if you don't know what that means, I will show you guys in just a second. I'm actually going to want to get... Ooh, this goddess cube over here. This is actually pretty sweet. I almost forgot it. There we go. We've got a second goddess cube. There are actually 27 goddess cubes all over the land of um, the surface. So we actually just got two knocked out of the way. So that means we have 25. We are on our way to an amazing journey here. Um, we are actually probably going to enter the temple and do a little bit in there. Probably not a whole lot, but enter the temple at least. All right. So if you see, here's the bird that is pointing skyward. And then if you look up, oh, look at that. One of those Legend of Zelda switches. Um, I want to check over here quickly. I don't think there's actually anything over here. I just wanted to make sure. Um, let's make sure there's not anything down there. Yeah, that looked like a goddess cube up there, but it shouldn't be because... Oh, there's the great tree. I guess that's cool. Anyways, um, over here there shouldn't be anything, but I just want to make sure. Um, nope. Nothing over here either. All right, so we're going to actually hit that switch now, and then we're going to actually want to um, get some replenishing of these seeds, if we can, before we go in. If it just jerks us going in, I'm going to be kind of mad, but whatever. It might actually do that. Oh, well. I guess we're going in with 19 seeds, so. Anyways. Yeah, we're going in with 19 seeds. <laughs> I'm kind of not... I kind of don't like that because I'm OCD or whatever it is, and I like to have the full up before I even go in at all, but whatever. All right, no mysterious legs this time. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of awkward. But anyways, we are now within the first temple. I think this is called Skyview Temple, if I'm not mistaken. Skyview Temple, yes, the first dungeon of the game. Um, they're usually called, like, temples, so I don't know why they call them dungeons in the Legend of Zelda series, but anyways, it's also a dungeon, so what the heck. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. There's a lot of walls. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. All right, that's kind of not good. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where you should move next. Alrighty then. Alright, so, um, one thing I will point out, first of all, I'm going to save here quick. I'm actually not going to stop here. I just want to save because I like the fact that I can save here. Anyways, one thing I will point out is that in most Legend of Zelda games, when you have um, a dungeon, you will also have uh, a compass and a map. Now, we will see the map in um, a tad bit. Come on. 
what the heck is it doing over there? All right, we're going to do that. Um, there will be a map, but there will not actually be any um, compass, which is kind of an interesting new tactic, I think, for this one, unless, unless like, there was another Legend of Zelda game that I'm not aware of that did that. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the last episode, actually, and I will mention this before I end off this episode, um, and that is that the slingshot actually showed up first time ever, and I believe it was Ocarina of Time, uh, and that was actually because, I think it was just because it was um, 3D, and I'm entirely sure if it was Ocarina of Time. I feel like it was in something else. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the first time it ever appeared, I think, was Ocarina of Time. And um, yeah, it's kind of an amazing thing that they decided to put it in this one. So uh, anyways, um, oh no, excuse me, it was Oracle of Seasons, my bad. Um, and, and it was called the Slingshot, so uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so I'm actually going to end it off right now. I thought that was bad. Or keys for some reason. Oh, I didn't even target the keys when I did this time. Oh, well, I'll have to target the keys next time because we're going to run into some keys a lot. But anyways, so I will see you guys in the next episode where we're continuing on through the dungeon. See you guys then.